this is pretty much how an old western town looked. How did all this come about? I'd been going to uh, Virginia City, Montana to the long range matches. They had thousand yard matches out there shooting the long range buffalo guns. And so I came back and I said, well, hey, there's none, nobody shooting east of the Mississippi. Maybe I can get something started here. It's the home of the Hoot and Holler Regulators. SASS is Single Action Shooting Society. Well, what it amounts to is you have to have a single action revolver, a lever action rifle, and either a double barrel shotgun or they'll allow the 97 pump. What's in it for the, the fella or lady who would actually win first place in, in the world? Just basically bragging rights. Bragging rights mostly, so there's yeah. not a new Ford truck or... No, it's not a new Cadillac <laughs> or anything like that. Let her rip, Joe. Stand by. Are you shooting what, 45 long colt? No, 38. There, uh, more people shooting 38 now? Yeah, it's uh, uh, you can cut your time considerable. Can you really? 38. Why, why yeah. is that? You don't have the recoil. What is a good time? What, what's what's the time you'd want to get through there with? A good time would have been probably a 21 or 22. 21 seconds to shoot yes. off how many rounds? Uh, 24. That's pretty impressive and hit every target. <laughs> How did this station right here work? You started in the left window, and we had three targets outside that left window. And you shoot five rounds in each revolver. And you could put the five rounds on those three targets at your choice. Uh, probably the fastest way would have been one, one, and then three. And then the second pistol, one, one, and then three. And then you would move to the middle window, but shoot the rifle. You had six rifle targets, and you shoot those ten rounds on those six, any particular way you want to shoot those. And then you would move to the shotgun window. We have six shotgun targets set up. And you shoot two of the shotguns from that window. And then you have to move to the next window and you shoot the other four shotguns. Thirty-seven fifty-one. I noticed there's there's something that somebody has to say to begin things, and then you start a timer. Stand by. Then I'll give a standby and then a beep. And at that standby and then that beep is when you actually go. And if the timer records every round that's fired, it actually records that timer. And you go through to the end of the stage with it. Let her rip, Joe. Stand by. Six, six, Joe. Two, three. Two, three, six, six. Take that with the fumble. Pretty good run. Now, how old are you? Uh, I'm 19. 19? Yeah. And state champion. How many people do you have to beat to be state champion? Uh, quite a few. Takes quite a bit of practice and... A uh, whole lot of reloading? Uh, yeah, a lot of reloading. How much, how much do you practice in a week's time, would you say? Well, we usually just try to live fire practice one time, but like in the house, uh, I just handle the guns and and snap them without anything in them. It's kind of coming together for me a little bit, but uh, it's probably just the, the mental part of it, I guess, just making sure you got everything straight in your head before you get up there. I have noticed that you have all these buckles that say champion of this, a champion of that. How many championships have you won over the years? Um, I won the world championship in 05 and then again in 06 in my class, not overall. Wow. I got a hat and I got a gun and I got a vest. So you want, you want to do a little, I'm, I'm, I'm going to challenge you. Are you sure? You take me up on it? I'll take you up on it.
ready to go. Against you? Yeah. Any you ain't day. scared? Any day. I don't blame you. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies first. <laughs> you were saying? Uh, uh. <laughs> I know when the new man has to leave town, 